Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I want to teach you guys about repeaters. Now I know I've used these in previous videos, however I've recently noticed that I've never actually fully covered what they are and how to use them properly. And in the future I plan to make some more advanced tutorials, so I figured I'd make this video to cover the basics. So let's first start by talking about what they are. If you go to add, listen grid, you're going to notice these repeaters right here. Personally, my favorite one to use is this one right here because this one is typically in the same style that I typically use on my websites. So it's less editing and less work to get to where I want it to be. But basically repeaters are elements that have items inside of it. And when you edit the design of one item, all of the rest of the items are affected as well. So if I select this text element and move it inside of this item, you're going to notice that the text element in the other items moves as well. And if I come up to the add button and I add, let's say a basic shape to one of these items, you're going to notice that this basic shape gets added to the other items as well. And the same thing happens if you delete it. The cool thing about repeaters is, is if you have some content that's going to be a little bit repetitive and you don't want to design each and every single one of them, you can use a repeater to do all the heavy work and design work for you. So let's say you have a bunch of testimonials that you want to showcase on your website, but you don't want to create a bunch of strips or columns and stuff like that to display them. So what you can do is just create a repeater, design one of the items inside of it, and all of the rest of the items will follow. It is important to note that really the only thing that will change the repeaters is if you change the position or maybe the sizing of the elements inside of it. However, you can select like this text right here and you can edit this text to be whatever you want. And as you can see, it's not affecting the other items. And same thing goes for images. If we add an image element to one of the items in the repeater, then of course the image is gonna showcase on all of the other items. However, we can change the image inside of one of the items to be different and it won't affect all of the other items. So it's really just adding and removing items and, and really just the sizing of those items that's gonna affect the other items. But of course the content inside of it can be exchanged for other content. And let's say you have more testimonials that you want to show or maybe you want to remove them. What you can do is come over to manage items and then you can duplicate an item and edit it however you want. Or maybe if you don't want an item, you can just come over here and press delete. But here's one of the cons. Let's say you have a testimonial that is longer than the rest of them. And you're gonna notice it does this. One of the items is gonna be super long and the other ones are gonna be shorter. Now you can use this to your advantage if you wanna create something similar to like Pinterest. However, for most people, they don't really want it to be inconsistent. So it is a little finicky and you have to make sure if you don't want this style to make sure that all of your content is roughly the same size. But the major pro is, is you can link all of this content to your databases, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically content management. So if we add this to our site, and let's say we wanted to add team members to our website. Now I've already made a tutorial on this in the past, so I'm not gonna really cover the design in too much detail. But let's say we added content management database to our website for teams. And here I'm just using Wix's basic one and it comes with six people. And this is gonna be the team page that Wix sets up for us. Honestly, it's not bad, but what if we wanna do something a little more custom? So I'm gonna come over here to site menu and I'm just gonna add a page. And let's say we just wanna add a repeater to this page. And let's just use this basic team one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this like that. And then what we can do is come over to add. We can go to content manager and add a data set to our page. This element is going to be invisible as soon as you publish. However, it just helps us inside of the editor. So we're gonna press settings. We're gonna choose our team database. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and select an element inside of our item. And we're gonna say connect to data. And we're going to make sure it's set to the team data set that we have on our page. And we're going to connect the image to the photo. So now it's gonna show the photo of our team members from the database. And then we can follow the same procedure for the name, for the job title, and for their little description. So the cool thing about linking your repeater items to your database is when you update your database in here, so let's say you add an employee or maybe someone left the company and you remove them, it's going to automatically update your repeater on your website without you having to do any design work. 
Another cool use that you can use repeaters for is for your shop or even blog post. So let's say we have a blog and we'll just add this to our site. When we add the blog service to our website, this is what we're gonna see. And this looks professional, however, it's very obvious that this was made on Wix. So if you wanted to, you could add a page. So if we come over to pages and just add a blank page, let's just add a repeater to this page. I'm gonna go ahead and press stretch to stretch it the full width of the screen. Then I'm going to come over to layouts and add 20 pixels of spacing in between each of the items. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything inside of here. And I'm going to stretch this to be as big as I want. And then let's just go ahead and add a box to this item. We'll attach it to the left and the bottom. And we'll add a title and we'll add a paragraph. And actually, let's go ahead and add a button as well. In the future, I'm going to be showing you how to design these to make them look pretty. However, for now, I just kind of want to show you the basics and how to set them up. Now that we have the blog service on our website and we have this repeater set up, we can come over to add, we can go down to content manager and data set. And basically now we're gonna follow the same steps. So we're gonna actually connect this one to our blog posts. And then for this background image, we're gonna connect this one to the post data set and the image is gonna connect to the cover image. And you're gonna see it update right inside the editor. And then for this title, we're gonna connect it to the title of the blog post. For this paragraph, we're gonna connect it to the excerpt. And this button, we are gonna connect it to the actual blog post, which will be post page URL. So now if we preview the site and we click on this button, it's going to automatically take us to our blog post. Also something I want to note is if we look at this title, it's longer than the other two, so it kind of expands this one down a little bit. So this is a good example of if you want to do the Pinterest look, you can. If you And if you don't, then you need to make sure that maybe the design of this text is set to a little bit smaller, something like that, so all of them are consistent. Or you can make sure that the title of the blog post is a little bit shorter to make sure it fits. And if I add a few more blog posts, you're going to notice that this, it's kind of creating that Pinterest style website, which I think really looks pretty cool for this example. Now the last thing I want to do in this website is maybe do the same thing for a store. So if we add an online store to our website, this is what we're going to see. It looks professional, however, same thing with the blog. It looks very basic and it looks like it was made on Wix. So what we can do is come over to page, we can add another blank page, and we can add a repeater to the site. And for this one, let's go ahead and stretch it the full width of the screen, and we're going to add like 30 pixels of spacing and let's just go ahead and remove the items in here and we'll go ahead and design it however we want. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the background and change it, change them to a color and then maybe we want to add an image to our repeater. So we'll just do a stock image for now. Let's go ahead and make the repeater quite large. I'm going to go ahead and make the image as large as the width of this item and then down below it, we're going to go ahead and add some text. Now, of course, I'm gonna make the design pretty basic because I wanna cover this in more detail in the future, but we can go up to add, we can go down to content manager and press data set. Then we want to press settings on that data set and make sure it's set to our products in our store. We're gonna connect the image to the data set for our products and the image is gonna to connect to the main media image. The title, we're gonna connect it to, to the name of the product. This paragraph text, we're gonna make sure it connects to the price. And this button, we're gonna connect it to the product page. Now, if you notice right here, it only put the number, it didn't put the dollar sign. So what you can do is use the shift arrow key and bump this over a couple times. We're gonna copy and paste it. We're gonna remove the connection to the data set and we're just going to make this one a dollar sign. And we're going to go ahead and put it right next to the number. And this is going to be our custom shop page. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I plan to make a full tutorial on making a custom shop design, but this was just to give you a general idea of what you can do with a repeater. So just to recap, a repeater is an element with several different items in it. And when you design one item, the design follows for the rest of the items inside of that repeater. And if you connect elements inside of the item to a database, then the amount of items inside of your repeater are going to be purely based on the amount of items you choose to show from that database. So it basically takes all of the manual work and design out of it. When you just design one item, basically all the other items will automatically display with the data set. But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did learn something or find this useful in any way, please like the video and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out real soon. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one.